As the new school year begins, the excitement for many families is being met with a frustrating speed bump for many school districts across the country, a troubling shortage of bus drivers. And in some cases, the school districts are even canceling classes. Sam Brock is following the story for us. This morning in Kentucky's largest school system, classes are canceled as Jefferson County scrambles to fix what administrators call a transportation disaster. Still waiting on this bus at 910. This after some students were stuck on school buses until 10 at oh night while heading home after the first day of school last week. I'm the parent of a JCPS third grader and fourth grader. I have been in the last few days and I bet in the next several really frustrated and really lonely. The district has more than 90,000 students and its superintendent now apologizing to them for the new school bus routing system that backfired. We should have anticipated those problems better than what we did and, and we did not do that. The frustration over school buses spreads far and wide. They're 15 minutes early or 15 minutes late. Well, sometimes they usually, if they're late to their next route, they bypass the stop. With a nationwide driver shortage impacting 80% of districts, according to Hop Skip Drive. Lack of competitive pay, recruiting problems, and strict regulations, all making it hard to fill positions. Our kids are going to be the ones to suffer because they can't get to school. Because we can't get them there, no bus. Across the nation, a variety of temporary solutions are underway. In Chicago, where the district short half their bus drivers, or around 600 of them, the city is now offering free transit cards to qualifying families. Honestly, it breaks my heart because we have students, we have kids that really, they need to get to school. In Hillsborough County, Florida, with a roughly 200 driver deficit, the school is suggesting parents use the Here Comes the Bus app to help track their child's path. And in Framingham, Massachusetts, they've even tried recruiting stay-at-home parents and retirees to help fill their shortage. All efforts to keep the wheels rolling and get the kids to class on time.